video is about how to get a software update on your MacBook. You'll notice I have down here on my app for preferences a little notification, a little badge, and that means there's an update available. Now if I had selected in my preferences to have automatic updates installed, then I probably would never have to look at an icon like that. But there it is. Um, now I could tap on that, or another way to do this is you could go to the Apple icon, select About This Mac, and then you can click Software Update if there's one available. Uh, that's one way to do it. Or you can select the Apple, go to System Preferences. Notice that the same Preferences app down here on my dock is the same one that's here in my Preferences window. So whether you tap the one down here or up there, it really doesn't matter. It's checking for updates. It's best to have your MacBook plugged in uh, or powered up, or I should say connected through a power source, uh, especially if you're below 50%, I think, uh, on your battery. And so I'm going to update now. It looks like there is an update available. And it gives you a little spiel. Um, and you're supposed to agree to all the terms. And I'm sure you're impressed with my speed reading ability. So I agreed. Remember that when you're um, installing an update, or I should say you're downloading an update, it then installs after that, and then you're good to go. And it is best to um, not get busy with a bunch of apps and do multitasking while you're doing a download. Um, I tried that once, and the MacBook didn't really like it. So um, I had, a, I think, an app or two that kind of froze up. and. So it's best just to walk away, let it do its thing. So this software update is about to finish downloading and then it will install after that. So as it finishes downloading, um, it then moves into preparing the new update for the Mac OS Big Sur. So the software update has downloaded onto this computer and now that it's finished doing that, it says up here in the upper right, your computer needs to restart to install. And so I can go ahead and click restart. And then uh, by the time it's restarted, it is ready to rock and roll. And so that's how you do a software update and install.